the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 306, Luke 23 to 24. Invitation to Glory and Peace. Jesus, who came to the disciples after the resurrection, taught them that his suffering and the resurrection was a fulfillment of the Old Testament and appointed them as witnesses. First point Luke thoroughly recorded Jesus' trials by the Sanhedrin assembly, by Pontius Pilate, by Herod, and then by Pontius Pilate again. After being arrested by the Sanhedrin assembly, Jesus was taken to the court of the high priest's house, where he was interrogated. Afterwards, he was taken to the Roman governor, Pontius Pilate. The Sanhedrin assembly had an idea of how to go ahead and sentence Jesus to death, and this was to accuse him of blasphemy. However, they were cautious on the one hand, as they were aware that there were many Jews who were still upset over the death of John the Baptist. Therefore, they did not want to stone Jesus to death, as this would have made enemies out of the Jews. They wanted to bring back all the people who became followers of Jesus, and so used the Roman Empire to kill Jesus. They accused Jesus of blasphemy and quoted Jesus of being the king of the Jews. The reason the Sanhedrin assembly passed Jesus over to Pontius Pilate was in order to mask the whole thing as a political riot, and thus began the trial under the Roman Empire. Pilate knew exactly what the Sanhedrin assembly was after, but nevertheless, the trial went on. Pilate was taken aback by Jesus' answer, as Jesus admitted that he was the king of the Jews. Despite this being a crime, Pilate still proclaimed Jesus innocent. When the Sanhedrin assembly disapproved, Pilate handed this case to Herod. Herod's trial is only recorded in Luke's Gospel. When Jesus did not do anything, Herod ridiculed Jesus and made him wear the robe of a king. Because of the Sanhedrin assembly, Jesus' second trial and the Pilate began again. Pilate did not want to make this trial any bigger. Pilate declared Jesus as innocent, but in order to satisfy the Sanhedrin assembly, he told them that Jesus would be punished by being whipped. This, of course, was not what the Sanhedrin assembly wanted to hear. The Jews that the Sanhedrin assembly bribed demanded that Jesus be crucified. It appeared that they would riot if Jesus was not crucified. Because of this, Pilate gave in and commanded the crucifixion of Jesus. What the Sanhedrin assembly did not know was that everything was going to God's plan, not theirs. Second point, Luke recorded Jesus' crucifixion and his death all in detail. Luke recorded Jesus' suffering in chronological order. The first was that Simon from Sidon carried the cross for Jesus. This was because Jesus was questioned all throughout the night and therefore was physically unable to carry the cross. The second was when the women who followed Jesus lamented, and Jesus consulted them. Jesus told them to lament more for the fall of Jerusalem, which was to come. The third was when Jesus was nailed to the cross. Jesus was crucified with two other sinners. This was the fulfillment of the waters of Isaiah. The fourth was the seven sayings of Jesus. The fifth was how Jesus was ridiculed by the people. The sixth was how Jesus still saved the people whilst he was on the cross. The seventh was the moment he died on the cross. Third point, 
Jesus predicted the cross and his suffering on multiple occasions. And thus, the Sanhedrin assembly made someone watch over Jesus' tomb after he died. When Jesus breathed his final breath on the cross, no one could dare to ask to bury him. It was here that a man came forth. When Jesus was born, he was assisted by the poor Joseph. And when he died, he was buried by the rich Joseph. When Jesus became buried, a new issue sparked, and this was the issue of resurrection. During Jesus' ministry, he had spoken about resurrection on many occasions. The Sanhedrin assembly wished to cover this completely and so bribed the Pontius Pilate to make soldiers go and guard over the tomb. However, the soldiers of the Roman Empire could not stop Jesus' resurrection. Jesus defeated death and resurrected after three days. The angel of the Lord told this to the women and also to the disciples. Fourth point, historian Luke recorded the conversation Jesus had with his disciples after his resurrection. The resurrected Jesus went to go and find his disciples. Jesus had a conversation with two of his disciples. These two disciples, through their conversation, showed that they had not believed in resurrection. However, Jesus came to teach them again. Even when they heard this from Jesus, they still did not know that it was Jesus. And until they had something to eat, they failed to recognize that it was him. The disciples thereon proclaimed and testified Jesus. They immediately headed towards Jerusalem to proclaim Jesus. Peter had met Jesus at this stage also, and thus all the disciples came to know that Jesus had resurrected. Fifth point, Luke recorded how Jesus told the disciples to stay in Jerusalem in anticipation of the next age of the apostles. The resurrected Jesus came to the eleven disciples. Jesus convinced them that he was indeed Jesus. Jesus showed them his nailed hands and told them to touch it in order to help them recognize him. After this, Jesus gave them the Great Commission. Jesus told his disciples to be his witness and also to stay in Jerusalem. And then Jesus ascended to heaven. Luke recorded Jesus' ascension in Acts chapter 1. Luke's gospel ends with the people praising God and waiting for Jesus in Jerusalem. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.